thought I would do a quick review on a toy that I have called Torbox. Torbox uh, basically is a, I call it an apparatus that allows you to create, uh, get your hand off the keyboard so you don't have to reach for the keyboard every now and then. Uh, what it does is it's got dials and uh, buttons on it and with those dials and buttons you can create different combinations of key uh, keystrokes so that it basically does your, your shortcuts for you. Shit! So let's talk about build quality on this uh, little apparatus. It's actually fairly sturdy. It, it weighs probably a pound and a half. <laughs> it's a heavy, it's not going to slide across your desk. Um, the buttons feel really good. Like nothing feels cheap on the, on the buttons at all. Uh, the only complaint that I have is this one spins just a little bit too freely. Um, but other than that, uh, it, it works rather well. So uh, the build, build quality of it is uh, really good. Impressed with it. Um, what can I say about it? I bought it off Kickstarter. So I paid a hundred bucks for an American, which was, it took nine months to get on Kickstarter. So that was kind of interesting. It's online now for, I believe 198 Canadian. Uh, so hopefully you'll get yours right away. It took me nine months to get mine, but let's see what it actually does and why it. Actually, let's go through that. The reason I bought it, um, how, I had a, a Wacom tablet connected to my uh, computer. Every time I went to use a Wacom tablet, I have a dual monitor system. So half of my monitor or my tablet was one screen, the other half was the other one. Every time I had started Photoshop, I had to go in and reset the Wacom tablet. That just pissed me off. Yeah, it, just, it just pissed me off altogether. Yeah, it was a pain in the ass. There are issues with this as well, and I'll go through those. Uh, I also have a Windows tablet. And I find not very accurate. So where you think your pen is, it's not necessarily where your pen is. Um, the other thing, and I'll show you in Lightroom, is I use a lot of shortcut keys. So this actually, all the buttons are programmable to what you want. So it comes with a piece of software that you can program uh, for Lightroom and then you can reprogram it for um, Photoshop or any program that actually does shortcuts you can probably program it for. Not a big deal. And uh, let's uh, take a look, see what works and how it works. Okay, so the first thing you're going to have to do is down here is you have to start the tour box. So it's got to connect. Now, you probably can put it in a Windows startup function. So this is the program uh, that allows you to set your shortcut keys. And as you notice, as I hover over the knob, it shows you which one the item is. Scroll dial, control, shift, alt, space. You have the ability to program all these keys. And then you can get in to setting multiple keys. So right now I've got this set on Lightroom. The default here is Photoshop. And you notice every time I change it, it gives you a prompt. So in the Photoshop side of it, clicking certain buttons uh, does certain things. So, so it's all completely programmable, which is kind of cool. If I go into Lightroom, I'm going to go back into Lightroom. One of the things that annoyed the hell out of me in Lightroom is if I wanted to play with exposure, you now see so the hotkeys are plus and minus. Sometimes I find I don't have enough exposure. As I move it a little bit, I try to just move it maybe one or two. 
it just jumps around. If I click on exposure, it gives me those keys, but if you watch my hand, I now have a little bit more control of how I control my exposures, my contrast. So I, I can bump it up and down just a little bit more uh, with a little bit more accuracy, I find. So that's one of the things that I like about it. You know, all, like I said, all the buttons are programmed. And if you can't remember what button does what, this center button brings up my HUD. So now I can go, the top button is shift, the side button is control, the knob goes up and down, control one and two, alt and space. So I can very quickly and easily see what it is. Now here's one of the issues with it. If I go to Photoshop, now I'm in Photoshop, but now I've got to reset tour box to the default. So if you do a lot of bouncing back and forth from Lightroom and Photoshop, yeah, it, it's kind of a pain. Uh, there's a graduated. Here's my brush. So with this, again, if you watch my hand, I'm just turning the dial. My brush is going bigger and smaller. Again, I just changed to the healing tool. I can make it bigger and smaller. I can zoom in and zoom out. All without going to reach for my keyboard. My keyboard is under my desk in a, in a drawer. So on some of these things, it works really well. So it's actually a pretty good little little toy. Um, it's not cheap. Uh, one of the things I forgot to mention was that it does connect through a cable. It's not Bluetooth. Um, so on that side of it, sorry about that. Yeah, I, I use it 50% of the time. So, like I said, there are idiosyncrasies. If I go from Lightroom to Photoshop, I got to reset it. Um, I do like the build, as I said before, it works really well. Uh, it does give me a little bit more control over it. I don't have to kind of, like, if you watch here, like my keyboard's not up here, my keyboard's down into here, and I can, I can throw my keyboard away. So I mow it down here and I keep my hand up here, fully, fully relaxed. So on that side of it, it works really well. Um, you got to remember what the shortcuts are and what you've programmed into it. But, yeah, it, it's an option. So if you don't want to use a tablet, but you want to have some shortcut keys, really handy. Um, I find it, it, it can be a little difficult holding two or three buttons at one time. That can be a little bit uh, difficult, so depending on the dexterity of your hand. but. Other than that, yeah, I would, uh, I, you know, depends on your workflow, your style of working on a computer. So uh, hopefully you liked this review. Um, if you have one, leave your comments below. If you don't have one or interested in getting one, leave a comment below. Um, and we'll see you next time on uh, Who Said Photography. So keep clicking, eh?